everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's Code Karen. Welcome to r slash relationships advice, where we have two incredible stories with comments and updates. If you're new to this channel, a sub would be great. Let's jump to the stories. Our first story is, my girlfriend told me she is pregnant, but that's impossible because I am sterile. Backstory, I got into an accident after college and will never be able to have children. None of my family members know this. They know about the accident, but not that I am sterile. I always wanted to be child free, so it didn't affect me much mentally. I'm 26 years old, just finished my master's degree last year, and never dated before. I got a very high paying job directly through campus placements. My parents immediately wanted me to get married after getting this job, but I wanted to work on myself and explore the world. They insisted on marriage, but I pushed back and told them that I had no plans to change my lifestyle. All my life, I did what they wanted, and for the first time, when I talked back to them, they were not happy. This was last year, and luckily, they gave up after COVID started. So I picked up some dating apps and went through them, but no luck. Then my parents introduced me to a family friend's daughter, 24, and we kind of clicked. Looking back, I was a fool. She agreed to everything I said and never complained about anything. I felt kind of weird about that. I wanted her to express herself, but she always said she was interested in whatever I was interested in. Well, I did not think much about it. I told her that I won't have children ever, and she surprisingly said okay. I was like, darn, she might be the one, because it is very hard to find a partner who is child-free in my country, but we were in the initial stages of this relationship, and I didn't tell her about my accident. Long story short, we had sex a month ago. I used condoms because safety first. The next day, she started ghosting me a bit. I thought it was due to my performance in bed and wanted to give her some space. Then she texted infrequently and only replied OKs and Ks and one-line answers. I thought maybe she wanted to end the relationship and was disappointed, but left it at that. Yesterday, her entire family comes to my house and tells me she's pregnant and I am the father. Needless to say, I freak out and almost pass out. I didn't say anything because they were talking over me about marriage and stuff that needs to happen before I got her pregnant. Please advise me on what steps to take now, Reddit. Update. Let me start off by saying I'm very, very grateful for all those who took their time to read and give me advice. I was overwhelmed by the amount of comments and how many of you said it might not even be my child. Looking at it from different perspectives gave me much more insight into the whole situation. I called my boss and took today off. I called up some clinics to get tested and was given a slot on Friday afternoon. Then I went to the store and bought some pregnancy tests and asked my girlfriend that only she come to my place tomorrow. I also called my parents and before I could say anything, my mom asked me if I had any good news. I was taken back by her question and asked her what exactly she was talking about. She then played dumb and then I knew that the situation was more messed up than I thought. I hung up from the call and cried all night till 3 a.m. Me, a grown A man crying for the first time since 8th grade. My girlfriend came the next morning with her parents, even after I told her to come alone. They were under the impression that I was going to discuss engagement plans with them. I told them to wait outside and called her in separately. They threw a fit. I told them they can either all go back home or let her come in alone. They said okay. I took out the pregnancy tests and gave one to her. I wanted her to prove that she was actually pregnant and pointed to the bathroom door. She started screaming at me. She has never done this before and I was in shock at her behavior. Then she opened the door and in walk her parents. Now everyone is screaming at me in my own home because I asked her to prove that she was pregnant. I didn't even ask for a DNA test. I told them all to F off. One hour later, everyone, including my parents, are in my home, and this is when they revealed the real story. The gig was up. My girlfriend was never actually pregnant, as many of you smartly said to me in the comments. My parents were afraid that I was getting old for marriage and wanted me to marry someone and give them grandchildren. They said that in arranged marriages, there is no need for the engaged couple to actually get to know one another because parents choose the spouse that would be best for their child. Everyone was in this plan to deceive me and they were only waiting for me to have sex with her to entrap me. I broke down and cried again. All my life, I did exactly what my parents wanted. Always scored high in my studies and never asked for anything. 
I told them to get out, and I never wanted to talk to them again. They started to cry, and they told me that they are my parents, and they know what's best for their child, and I should do exactly what they say. Then I got extremely angry, and told them to F themselves in my native language, which was very bad. For once, I think they knew I was very serious, and they all left. I blocked them all before sending my parents a message to never contact me again in my life, even if one of them is dying. I cried some more, went through some dog videos to cheer myself up, and scrolled through all my messages on Reddit. I feel like I owe you guys this update because it was you guys who helped me get through this. This is all, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bisquick Ninja says, 1. Get tested to see if you are sterile. 2. If she is pregnant, get the baby tested. 3. Make plans accordingly if you are the father or not. 4. On a final note, you may need to step away from your family for your own health. Kind Edition says, Go to a doctor, get tested for sterility, and give the results to her and your family. I think it's entirely possible that she isn't pregnant at all, and it's a ploy to get you into marriage by both sets of parents, anticipating that you'll get her pregnant very soon and then force an engagement. It's also totally possible that she's pregnant, but with someone else's child. You told your parents you wanted to do your own thing, but your girlfriend could be under another assumption. It's totally possible that she believes this was arranged, depending on what her parents told her, and you're the only one not in the loop about it. She probably thinks that you think slash know it's arranged as well. This is super fishy, and you guys are going to have to break it off. It's too messy with your parents. Before anything, make sure to get tested to confirm reports of your sterility. Have this results in your back pocket. If they continue to insist, request a paternity test. Before anything, you should find out what your or her parents' involvement is in this scheme. Then you can bring up the sterile slash paternity test. Get your answers first. Castle2n says, Sounds like the risk of you getting her pregnant is very low, and the girl slash family are trying to pressure you into marriage. If you are so sure you are sterile, although this might not be a certainty unless the entire organ is missing or something, just go to a specialist doctor who can confirm you are indeed sterile and explain the facts to them. Also, how does she know she is pregnant? A missed period or urine test might not be so accurate. The gold standard is a blood test. I understand that if your culture is highly religious or conservative, they might take offense to such a factual way of proving pregnancy and fatherhood. But if you are calm, tactful, polite, and explain the circumstances of your accident, and that you were very careful to use protection, the parents might be understanding about why you are so confused and skeptical. Again, I think keeping calm and polite and communicating warmly is key. Emotions are likely running high for the parents, and you can easily be targeted as the bad guy trying to wiggle out of responsibility. Summary. Go to a doctor to prove your sterility. Avoid asking the girlfriend about other partners if she is conservative or if the parents are involved, because things might get highly emotional. Communicate politely and respectfully, and hopefully, they are reasonable people. Good luck! Update from OP. I want to thank you all for taking your time and reaching out and giving advice. The last few days, I feel like a burden was lifted off me, especially for my parents who always expect many things from me. The day after the confrontation was a circus. My parents forced my relatives to reach out to me, asking me to see reason, laughing my butt off. I declined. They stopped this badgering two days later after I sent a harsh message requesting no contact. I also made an appointment for family planning, vasectomy, which is next month. Some people asked if I would ever tell my family about this, but I will not. My body, my business. I will, of course, tell potential future dates that I am child-free and I had a vasectomy before taking the relationship to the next level. Some people asked where I am from. I am from India. Oh Hey Throwaway says, Dang, so your parents really tried to trap you into an arranged marriage under the guise of a real relationship? That's devastating, dude. But you're doing the right thing by cutting them off if they're going to deceive you like that. I'm so sorry. But things will get better, especially after your vasectomy. And you will never have to worry about a pregnancy scare again. Best of luck to you. Wuhan Slayer says, Holy sugar, man. Just read your previous post. Stay strong. 
I was also born in India and obviously have Indian parents. I also don't want children, which is very weird in our culture. But F culture, it's my choice. I married a non-Indian girl from New Zealand, so my parents weren't happy about that either. I had to make a stand and marry who I wanted. It's been seven years since we got married. Other than my mom, everyone is cool with my marriage. My mom still doesn't talk to my wife. I have a good relationship with my mom though, and we just agreed to move on with the fact that my wife and my mom are not talking to each other. I used to care a lot about what others thought and everyone's happiness, and then realized that no one was happy. So I decided to make sure that I am happy and my wife is happy, and everyone else can worry about their own happiness. It was difficult for like six months, and then everything fell into line. Your parents seem even worse than mine, lol. Just remember, it's okay to move away from your parents if they are toxic. Just because they gave birth to you doesn't mean you owe your life to them. I know it's not the Indian way of thinking, but you gotta move on with the times and live your life your way. Good luck, and it's okay to cry as a grown man. It's another Indian thing that grown men don't cry. F that. Crying can make you feel better, and it's good for your mental health. Don't buy into that macho BS. Feel free to message me if I can help in any way. Our second story is, Mom had an affair 18 years ago. I am the product of it. My dad just informed me of all this and told me he will not pay for my college, even though my siblings got their college paid by our dad. My story is pretty much summed up in the title. I have no idea how to process all of this, and I am completely unprepared for what lies ahead. Both my older brother and sister went to the same college. My brother graduated two years ago, my sister is set to graduate in two years. Both had their college paid by our dad. Dad paid all their college expenses, including rent, food, their cars, pocket money, you name it. My brother has a job now, his own place, lives together with his fiance, and has his life together. My sister already has a good paying job, and my dad still pays for almost everything for her. I am 18 years old, and I got accepted to the same college as the one my siblings went to. This was always the plan, and I was looking forward to talking with my parents about the next steps towards financial help in the same way as they provided for my siblings. I always assumed they had money put aside for my college the way they had for my siblings. Instead, I was met with a story about my mom's cheating how I am the result of her cheating, and how my dad is not willing to support me anymore moving forward. Dad told me that mom had 18 years to tell me that he was not my biological father and prepare me for the future, but obviously she never did. He said it was never his place to say anything since I am not his son and he didn't want to interfere with my mom's parenting. Apparently, my grandparents also know that I'm not dad's biological son, but they didn't bother to tell me anything either. My siblings had no idea, and they are as surprised as I am because there was never a hint of anything being a bit off. I might be naive, but I always thought I had a great relationship with my dad. We go to see sports together, we go fishing together, he tutored me when I had difficulties with math, dad is an engineer, he taught me how to drive. I never got a hint that he stores resentment towards me. I mean, he gave me my name and has explained the importance of my last name, and he was very proud of it. It's a story he tells me from time to time. He likes to talk about stuff like that with me. My mom never said a word about anything, and apparently she was supposed to have the talk with me, but she never did. I feel abandoned and unprepared for what lies ahead. I am not even sure I will be able to go to college anymore. I always assumed my parents would pay for my education. I never had a job, and I am not sure what job I could get to support me through college. I have no idea how to apply for loans. All my mom has done is cry and apologize to me, but nothing of substance. She has no idea how to help me. I don't even know if I'm welcomed home anymore. It's all up in the air. I feel shame leaving my room, and if I will be asked to move out. I don't know where to go. I don't have any savings. Maybe $400 put together. I am angry at my mom. I'm confused about where I stand with my dad. There's a man out there who is my father that never wanted to have anything to do with me. I feel rejected, and I have no idea what to do to fix this situation. Anyone have any idea what to do here? Do I apologize to my dad? What do I say to him? I don't know. I've been stuck in my room these past few days, reading and browsing Reddit. I have no idea what to do. Update. Sorry to disappear. Nothing bad happened to me. I managed to talk with my mom yesterday, and I chickened out halfway through what I wanted to say to her. 
The good news is that I am not being kicked out or disowned, etc. Thank you for all your support, everyone. I will follow through and call financial aid at my college in a few hours and take it from there. My grandpa had a stroke a week ago, and my dad is helping my grandma with setting up a live-in nurse, so he wasn't around yesterday. I will let you know how I manage. Thank you again. Update 2. Sorry for not updating. My grandpa passed away yesterday morning. Nothing happened to me, but my situation is a secondary concern right now because of his death. Regardless, I think I will be alright. Thanks to your amazing support and help. My sister is aware of everything and told me not to worry. She has my back and I have her support. I promise to update when and if there are any significant changes. Right now, I need to support my grandma. Thank you again to everyone. Hubcap Diamond says, It isn't your shame. Don't even think of picking their mess up and carrying it. They are in the wrong, not you. Not in any way whatsoever. They should be apologizing to you. That is a messed up thing to do to a kid. No Nonsense says, This is all incredibly disturbing. What puzzles me is if your father feels this way about paying for college, why did he spend any money raising you? It costs roughly $200,000 plus to raise a kid to the age of 18. It's odd him feeling this way and not walking away 18 years ago when this happened. He raised you as a son, yet he has this bitterness he's holding against your mother over college tuition for you. Almost like it's her punishment for her betrayal, but you were the only one being truly punished and you did nothing wrong. It's just so bizarre. As for you figuring out your college financing, I recommend you go to the local community college for two years as they are relatively inexpensive. Then transfer to a state school. Make sure all your community college credits will transfer. I'm assuming you're in the USA. Good luck! Marley38 says, Wow, your parents and grandparents suck. Do not apologize for your own existence. Perhaps the best thing is to just move on with your life. See if you can pay for college with loans or join the military. Life isn't fair, but the adults really let you down. How poisonous for your father to quietly resent you all these years. I'm more disgusted by him than by your mother cheating. Now you know that 18 years ago, she might have had a dang good reason for having this affair. Stay strong.